Hey, what's up, turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And I just want to share something I've noticed while I'm out here doing a couple of reviews just on my walk around the area. I'm enjoying my time and there's a plant coming up that I wanted to show you. And it's uh, known as Eastern Skunk Cabbage or its Latin name Simplocarpus Photitis. And it's really cool and sort of an important plant to recognize when the seasons are changing because when this plant comes up, it's a sign that the transition is sort of being accepted and acknowledged and there's a shift. The shift is you know, sort of visible in the plant kingdom. So I'm going to show you right now some close-ups of it. It's growing in this uh, stream bottle. I'm in a valley floor and there's a stream running here. And it's starting to come up in these really boggy areas when there's a lot of standing water. So Sony, you want to try to get a shot. And what's really cool about this plant that it's in a sort of a, a really small group within the plant kingdom. And that's uh, that's plants that are able to produce their own heat or thermogenesis is another name for it. So they're allowed, they enable themselves to create their own heat to come up when the soil is still cold. You know, it's starting to thaw, but there's, it, this plant definitely has, you know, is able to be snowed on and covered in snow, but because it's creating its own its own heat, it can sustain that long enough to, to you know, sort of last to warmer weather when it really opens up and creates big leaves. And what's really cool is uh, the pollinators of these little guys, uh, flies and beetles, they're attracted to the plant because of thermogenesis, a sort of scavenger, if you will, carcass rotting, that sort of thing. Hope you enjoyed it. Crick signing out with Blackout Outdoors. Later, girls.